On behalf of Loyola University Chicago and the Family Business Center and our sponsor partners, BMO Harris and Catton, I am proud to recognize and celebrate 12 family businesses and their heroic contributions to save jobs, meet customer demands, and keep employees safe throughout the pandemic. BMO Harris Bank is strongly committed to supporting family-run businesses. They are the cornerstone of our economy and our communities. We are proud to stand with and for family businesses. We are honored to present these family business heroes. W.S. Darley is a 113-year-old family business started by my great-grandfather, William Stewart Darley. Our mission has always been to serve the first responder and the warfighter since our beginnings in 1908. And Darley has weathered a lot of storms. We've seen the Spanish flu, the Great Depression, the Great World Wars. We've learned we've always got to keep our employees, our families, and our customers first and foremost. Our first announcement came out, this isn't the first pandemic our company has ever experienced. And we set out guiding North Stars, if you will, for our employees that said, look, your safety is number one. That's paramount to us. Because we serve first responders, we're going to do all we can as a business to support those first responders in a way that's not profiteering. So about three days after we went remote, we stood up a COVID task force across the entire company to really address some of the precautions that needed to be taken, some of the policies that needed to be implemented to protect the safety of our employees. The Darley Way really speaks, I think, to our core values and how we operate every single day, regardless of the situations that we're faced with. Integrity was the number one that really shined through, I think, through all of this. Doing the right thing, meaning supporting each other, prioritizing safety. It was critical to us that we find reputable suppliers so that we were protecting not only our own company, but the first responders who were going to be using the equipment. We are presented with opportunities to provide life-saving equipment to our federal customers like we always had, but this COVID PPE market was a very risky and volatile market. And something that was really important to us was working with companies that had previous experience in this space. We were able to form an alliance with Battelle to provide the N95 decontamination mask semi-trailers. So we provided a lot of those to DHS, HHS, FEMA under our contract, as well as 4 million gowns, 2 billion gloves. We met all the criteria for the PPP funding that was available as a small business, and but within two or three weeks of receiving that funding, we decided to give it back. I think it goes again to doing the right thing as a business. So ultimately, we are a company with a soul. It was the best thing to do, not only for Darley, but, but for all of the companies out there in the U.S. We really have had an eye during the last 12 months on charities that have been particularly hit by the pandemic. We have a William J. Darley Charity Fund, and it's been amazing just to see how many employees have wanted to help each other out and contribute to the fund. We had a lot of employees who were reservists and a National Guard who took a lot of time off serving our country during this time, which we obviously encouraged. Even our chief compliance officer was called down to Guantanamo Bay. Whatever we could do for our country, it was a calling. We are focused on carrying this on for, the, for future generations, and we're all in alignment on that as a family. I think the next 100 years is going to be a huge boom for our company. W.S. Darley would be really proud of how we as a business and a family have evolved and worked together and continued his legacy.